Well, good morning from Boblet's Gap Shelter. And this is the scene we are greeted with this morning on day 24. It is March 21st, first day of spring. <laughs> first day of spring, my ass. There is about two to three inches of snow out there. It has not stopped snowing since, I guess, nine o'clock last night, 10 o'clock. Anyway, it's 18 miles to Full Heart Knob. We are basically out of fuel and food. But we're going to have to get to Daleville one way or another. <sighs> the things I get myself into to hike. This is going to be a fun day. So it's actually only... Uh, it's less than 18 to Full Heart Knob, but it's 18 into Daleville, which is what we're going to try and do. If we have to, we can stop at Full Heart Knob and go into the town in the morning. And there's a good possibility that that may happen because there's deep snow out there and it's going to be slow going. Well, here we go again. Uh, there's about six inches on the ground and it doesn't look like it's going to let up anytime soon. Um, I'd heard the Blue Ridge Parkway was closed. Um, Snail, who I shared the shelter with last night has a friend who lives nearby that was supposed to come pick him up uh, the parkway is not closed or is not open the parkway is closed um, I guess they're gonna bring plows through and there's gonna be a ranger that's gonna come pick him up and take him somewhere um, we are gonna continue on because I don't know how easy it would be to get back up here um, we probably could have gone into town with him um, but like I said, it might not be easy getting a ride back here to finish these last miles, and the weather could get worse. So, uh, special thanks to you, John Snail. Um, he hooked me up with uh, some extra food and some spam, which will come in handy. Um, getting really low on food. We're going to try and make it to Full Heart Knob, and that leaves us about five miles from Daleville. So... Hopefully we can make it there. We're probably not going to do too much uh, video shooting today. Um, it's mostly going to be snow just like this. Uh, trying to save the battery for emergency purposes. So, um, give you a few highlights here and there, but for the most part, we're just going to we're just going to hightail it to Full Heart. Hopefully. So fortunately the trail is uh, pretty easy going right now. It's more or less staying at the same elevation. There's a few climbs here and there, but once we get past, <clears throat> I think the last shelter, it's all downhill to Daleville. And you hear that train whistle blowing way in the background. Town is so close, yet so far away. It's the Blue Ridge Parkway right above us, to our left. Ooh. Slippery slope, indeed. But Garvey's making quick work of it with his four paw drive. So, you want to be a long distance hiker? Welcome to the AT. For those of you who want to know how much snow we got, that's it right there. Cook fire, boil in some hot water. Um, thanks again to Snail and his dog Bear. Uh, was able to give me an extra meal and 
Snail, I hope that doesn't make you short. Uh, I hope you don't have to wait any longer than tonight for a ride out. So Garvey has hot water bottle under there with him. Also the hot meal that we just cooked is reconstituting underneath his blanket. So we are going to get something hot to eat, probably make some hot tea while we have this fire going. And this nice dry shelter. I'm thankful for this little bit of wood we had here. Um, it's really all we need to cook on. And then we are going to try and make it to Full Heart Knob. It's mostly uphill, but hopefully on a full stomach we should be able to do it. So we're at Full Heart Knob. It was, uh, it was a push that last 6.4 or whatever it was, but we moved. Uh, we tore it up. Um, I made some little uh, plastic bag booties for Garvey. Um, it worked for a while. Uh, the His claws poked right through the plastic. Uh, I had them kind of fixed on with Velcro. Um, but he didn't seem to mind them, so I may have to look into getting some kind of uh, booties for him, something a little more permanent, um, if it's going to continue to snow, um, which oh, I really hope it doesn't. It's supposed to be like 47, 48 degrees tomorrow, and... I hope that's the case because this snow is, uh, it's really trying. Um, not so much for me, but for him, I can tell that, you know, having all that snow clumping up on his paws, he's not digging it. So, but we are warm now. We are under our sleeping bags and we are, I guess, roughly five miles from town. Um, even less if we go into Troutville instead of Daleville. So, um, we are going to try to get up fairly early, knock out this five miles quick because we're, we're mostly out of food. Uh, at least I am. Garvey has plenty. And, uh, we're trying to get into a hotel room, um, before like noon. So, so we can have it for 24 hours. So we can thaw out, um, <clears throat> do all the town things we need to do. And, uh, just relax. Uh, we haven't had a zero since Waynesboro. I don't know if we'll take a zero here, but we're going to at least spend 24 hours in a hotel room. 